sandwiches of the Big Island expressed with a delicate touch. The textures, fibers, and overall landscape of the island comes in many different forms. Capturing it on canvas is challenging but very rewarding for watercolorist Terry Sisko. My uh, style is um, pretty much a realist and uh, not as soft as a lot of watercolor artists. Look closely and you'll find a common subject in almost all his work. Some people I think I have a problem with uh, coconut trunks, you know, because I love them. Hey, you look around here, each tree has their own character, you know, you can tell that one that's healthy, one that's had a bad time in its youth. The rings on the, on the trees gives it the form, gives it the, the tilt, gives it the curve, you know, and it's, I love it. <laughs> Inspiration comes from his little corner of Kealakekua Bay. The beach that we're at, Manini Beach, I, I love that. It's a fantastic uh, spot. It's got tons of compositions there. Being outdoors, each stroke of his brush is affected by the warmth of the sun. It's fast. You really have to think things out. And you have to process it out, wait for the drying time, wet drying time you want. And uh, if you want to be working wet on wet or, if, you know, you want more precise lines, you know, more of a dry brush. You know, I, I, I lean towards the textural. I look for things, that, uh, images that I enjoy. Um, I do a lot of coconut trees, coconut trunks, you can tell and see that. Um, they're, they're a strong form and, and uh, combined with other things. things. I like to do historical things, things that we won't see anymore. Um, they're going to leave this place that kind of speak of Hawaii. And, you see something, and it's the form of the, you know, the lights making the form. It's and it's and it's got to be captured that one instant in time that helps make the composition come together. But most of the time, I, I I move through the whole painting on site. The watercolors really work when I think there's pure colors and the, the white of the paper underneath it, it shows through. That's what's different than uh, than oils. There's sort of a, a reflectance of that base white watercolor paper that really makes a difference. The payoff is success under these fragile conditions. Sometimes you just you walk away from a painting and you know and it's important to walk away early sometimes <laughs> that it's right on at least for me it, it, you hit what you wanted to hit you, know, you captured what you wanted to capture and whoever buys it or sees it they might have a totally different experience on it but I'm happy with it. And when not painting, he does have a day job. He's an architect and designs beautiful homes like this residence located just down the road from where he paints. You could say that this too is a blank canvas. He starts with an image in mind, goes through the process until the work is complete. Whether it's designing a home or capturing his view of Hawaii on canvas, it's all about finding joy in the work he does. When you finish painting, you're, you know, if you hit it, that's enough. You know, that's enough right there. And so when you see it again later on, it gives you that same joy that you hit it. Whether or not anybody else likes it or not, I like it. <laughs>